A new item available in later versions of Excel is the percentage of parent row. So what you can see is we've got the numbers here. These numbers add up to the January number. The January, February and March number add up to the grand total. What I can do is I can go value field settings, show value as. In this case you'll see there's an item here called percentage of parent row total. When I say OK, Notice that what it does, it gives us the breakdown of how it got to the 100%. So these, when you add them up, you'll see they come to 100%. So that shows us what percent is cell C, this 8 rand, of its parent row total. This 8.24% is showing what percent the 184 is of its parent row, which is the grand total. So by using this item, you can get it to give you a breakdown at each level of what makes up the various subtotals. You'll notice as well that in a similar way that you've got percentage of parent row total, you've also got percentage of parent column total and percentage of parent total. They all act the same way, it's just a matter of what your pivot table looks like and in some cases if it doesn't make sense when you do the row then just try the column because even we find it a bit confusing to know whether we're working with rows or columns at any given stage.